It's been a hard year for wheat here in the state of Oklahoma, and that's left many producers in a lurch trying to find quality seed to plant. One of the challenges to that is staying in compliance of the Plant Variety Protection Act. First created in 1970 and most recently amended in 1994, the Plant Variety Protection Act was created to stimulate the commercial development of new plant varieties. What the PVPA is, is you can think of it as kind of like a copyright or a patent protection on certain varieties of crops, for example, wheat. And the PVPA says that the people that develop those varieties are the ones that have the exclusive right to sell it or they're authorized dealers. And Farrell says this is a law that can trip up both buyers and sellers if they don't get educated on the act. If you're trying to sell PVPA protected wheat and you're not an authorized dealer of the wheat, that's one of the classic ways you can violate the act. But it's not just selling. Sometimes if you just give seed to someone else, not under authorization, that can get you in trouble too. Cleaning wheat that's authorized but without permission, all sorts of things. Now from the buyer's side, if you intentionally go out trying to buy wheat from someone who's not an authorized dealer, that can get the buyer in trouble as well. But a way that can get you in trouble that many people don't think about is if you try to get wheat from some source other than a dealer. For example, if you get feed wheat and try to have it cleaned and used for seed, but that feed wheat contained PVPA protected seed, you can still be liable for buying that seed just as though you were trying to buy it from an unauthorized dealer. Farrell also cautions that the PVPA was not simply written and then forgotten. The law is being actively enforced. Some of the seed companies have out, been out there with private investigators or cooperating with state agencies to try to find people that are using unauthorized sales or purchases of the wheat, and they've been pretty aggressive about prosecuting those cases. So Shannon, how do I know that my variety is PVPA protected? Well, you know, obviously one of the easiest ways to know is to deal with an authorized dealer that is going to tell you which varieties you're choosing. But another way that you need to know is this tag that has to be accompanying all seed in Oklahoma under the Oklahoma seed law. And look for language that says unauthorized propagation protected, or it might also say unauthorized multiplication protected, or U.S. protected variety. All of that is language that can be placed on labels to let you know you're dealing with PVPA certified seed and face all those restrictions. All right, Shannon, thank you so much. A lot more to learn here, but this is a good start. Outstanding. Thanks, Austin.